Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Battlecaster, which is a new game. It's on Steam. And this is very ominous. That looks like a rabbit waiting to murder me. But we're going to play it. We're going to play some Battlecaster. We're going to get in. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, I guess we select a hero. Left click, right click, spacebar, X. Q, E. Is this a controller game? If I turn on my controller, is it going to know... Because that's a lot of different abilities, and usually when they've got that many abilities, it's a controller game. Let's see if it picks it up. Okay, it did not, in fact, pick it up. So, we've got Q, E, R, and F. Alright. So, we can select our hero. Can we, can we pick a different hero? It looks like we can't. All right, well, I guess I'm ready with my with my hero that was auto-selected. There didn't seem to be any other choices. We're, we're this guy. I like the sound effects so far. It's pretty cool. It's very ominous and sort of wistful. All right, so it was Q, E, F, R, and X. So my, my, my left pointer finger is going to be getting a workout here. Quirf. So that's not... Oh. Oh, we can't. Oh. Oh, that's how we dash. I remember now. I don't I don't know what those abilities do, but we're doing them. Oh, we already used the healing stone. We maybe didn't want to do that, but that's okay. I don't So we beat the first guy. Nice. All right, so it gets bigger. Ooh, three extra healing gems so we get to Get better. A floating shield, which... Let's get that one. There we go. Let's open the rift and fight something. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's more of these guys. Oh, jeez. Oh. That's bad. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. Okay. So do we restart from the start? Or from that level? I don't know. I don't know. I'll fast forward till we get to some more content. Okay, so here's the problem that I can see with the game. The the main the main main problem with the game. I'll demonstrate it for you guys. Um, it it looks good. Like I, I like the way this looks. But if I stand all the way over here, watch what the enemy guy does. He just teleports straight over. So getting distance from him doesn't affect anything. There's no reason to do that because he can just teleport. So, all of the melee happens around their feet. So, you're just sort of walking around in circles like this. And once you add more people to that melee, um, it just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do, you're just going to get killed. Um, because they just teleport across the, uh, across the ring. Um, and these don't matter at all. Because you basically get, um, um, you basically just get one shot anyways by by these guys or two shot or whatever it is. Um, 
You've got three health stones and then you die. And using a health stone takes time. So if you're in the middle of a melee with, with two guys, so you can see they, uh, and then you get, and then you have some stuff coming in from all sides as well, which you're supposed to be dodging. Yeah. So we can use our, we can use our spells, which, uh, slowly regenerate or whatever. Yeah. So our spells slowly regenerate over time. All right. Boom. Gain. Gems regenerate faster after use. Adds two delay. Adds a two delay between enemy spawns. I don't know what a two delay is. Right, let's pick that one because I, I, I literally don't know what it is. Um... Was that our was that our delay? So we get to fight one guy for a second and then the other ones spawn in. Right, so you can see that um there isn't a whole lot of points in in sort of trying to avoid them. It's just circle strafing. That's the whole point of the game is circle strafing. There's no other strategy that works. You don't, you can't really make use of the um of the ring very much because it doesn't matter where you are. They can teleport to you. Um and they I think they share a health bar. I think the the enemies share a health bar, so it doesn't matter which one you're hitting or anything. Um also I feel really detached from the combat. It feel, you know, cuz I'm just like swing swing. And look, I know there's other stuff I can be doing. I'm pretty sure there's a dash that I can be doing as well. Um, but like I said, it just doesn't feel like there's a point to it. See, there's the dash. Like, what is the point of that when he can just teleport to me? I'll come over here. There he is teleporting again. Yep, teleport. Loving the teleport. So there's just, there's no reason to do anything, um, about using the space because they can teleport to you. So even if you make space for yourself... They teleport directly to you, so you don't even have time to, like, do things. It's very... It feels very pointless. Yeah. Like, it looks cool. The game definitely looks cool. Um, dodging provides damage immunity. Great. One extra reward per wave. Right, well, let's get that, I guess. Does it work now? No, it doesn't. It doesn't work until next next turn, right? Um, so we got to make it through this wave to get an extra reward. Yeah. So it's just it's just a matter of circling these guys and hoping that you don't get hit by too many projectiles. And you can use this. You can use the gems, but they regenerate at such a ludicrously sl slow rate that um, if I use them here, I won't be able to use them in the next round, provided I make it to them. So there's it's one of those where there's no good reason to use the uh, gems at this point. Oh, they don't share health bars. Okay. Yeah, there's no no point to no point to using the gems here because yeah, the rate. Oh, I just, it, there's four of them, but you still only get to pick one. Permanently increases spell power. Sure, this one will maybe keep me alive for longer. Uh, all right. Yeah, so like I said, there's... There's no advantage in doing anything but circle strafing. And we just have to hope that we don't get hit. We got hit. Right. We'll use one of the we'll use one of the gems because otherwise we're gonna lose. Oof. Yeah, we're still gonna lose, I think. And they don't have health bars or anything, so you don't. You, there's no way to focus on them. I don't know, man. Like, it's like fine. Sorry, sorry. I get to go to the shop now. So this is the first time I've made it to the shop. But I don't, but I've got 46 gold, so I don't, plus two physical damage, but we, but we can't buy anything. Why can't we, why can't we buy this stuff? Oh, I bought it, but, it, oh, right, there was no, 
No feedback about it. My gold just went away. Great. Uh, uh, I love it. Sure, let's have the strange meat. I, I literally don't know, guys. Alright. So at least we made it to the shop this time. But as you can see, the gems are still not back. So, like I said, there's really no point in them existing at all. Yeah, the, having the gems is pointless. They, uh, they regenerate at such a ridiculously slow rate that there is no point to using them. You would never, ever use them. Um, and the... Like, I like the idea, I guess, but the execution is just not fun, man, because it's just circling around the whole... The, the, despite the design being very simple, the, the actual battle is very it's just a mess you can't see anybody doing anything all the attacks are super simple why did i start with half life there i don't i don't understand right so i started a new game and came in with half life and i don't is that the new thing is that what it's going to do every time because that seems dumb Oh, no, this time I started with full life. I, look, I don't know. Like I said, despite it looking, despite the design being very simple and colorful and stuff, which I do like, um, none of this is fun to engage with. Yeah, I mean, it's... This is like, okay, but the fact that he teleports, right? The enemies teleport, so it means that positioning, which this is all this type of game should be about positioning um is pointless like increasing the size of the combat area would be good except for that it literally it literally doesn't matter see so now i've got more room to move around right but moving around doesn't matter because the enemies can teleport to you we'll just we'll start all the way over here Oh, that one's shooting at me. So he doesn't need to teleport, I guess. Yeah. Loving the loving the teleporting, yeah. Although it does look like he's got a limited distance he can teleport. I mean, I'm not swinging or anything because I, I... I just wanted to... Yeah, I just wanted to... I wanted to see how far he could teleport. Apparently there is a limited distance, but that only matters if the battlefield is big enough for it to matter and why does he teleport why doesn't he walk i don't know i don't know it just feels like it feels like a good idea that's missing a lot of polish so let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Battlecaster is a challenging, fast-paced arena roguelike. Develop mastery over relentless enemies and overcome difficult encounters. Use abilities strategically to control the ring of combat. Yeah, it's not... There's very little casting. The amount of uh, spells that I get to use is so small as to basically be pointless. Um, all of their... See, all their... Uh, how is he... How is he dodge rolling? I don't know. Oh, that must be space. I wasn't using space, but uh, once again, it didn't seem to be... There didn't seem to be a good reason to be do, to be dodging or, or moving around because they can just teleport to you. Um, yeah, all of the, the trailer and stuff just show him using abilities and stuff. Um, and mostly your abilities, you, you, don't, you don't get to use them because the gems don't regenerate fast enough. I don't know, man. I don't know. I like. I feel like. I just. It's missing a step. You know what I mean? It's missing a step. Um, the music is loud, but the the battle seems really far away. Like, I can't tell what's going on. I can't tell if I'm hitting. I don't know which way my guy is facing half the time because, um, as I said, it's just a matter of circle strafing because we're stuck in this little tiny arena where the enemies teleport around. So it's like, ah. It's one of these where, like, I'm really hoping that they're still working on it because there's stuff to like here. Yeah, like, I like the little rewards you get at the end. If only they mattered a little bit more. Um, 
I made it to the shop one time out of, I don't know, whatever that was, 10 runs. And I guess the idea is to be a difficult game, um, and that's fine, but the difficulty comes from the fact that the actual gameplay is executed poorly? And look, I could be wrong here. I could be totally wrong, and people might be like, oh my god, this is the most amazing game that I've played, but I just... None of it, it, none of the fighting felt very weighty. I never felt like I was actually hitting things. You know, they don't really react. It's just a little like that. And then they fall over when they're dead. You don't get to see how much health you've taken off of them. Um, they don't stumble. It, it just, yeah, it's big, bright, flashing lights and a simple design. And it looks good, but it doesn't sound great. And... The, the gameplay doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to actually play or win. Like, I didn't get any sort of satisfaction when I made it to the shop. Um, and when I clicked buy, I was just actually clicking to see what it, uh, like, to see what it would do, and it, like, subtracted it, but I didn't notice, because there was no sound saying that I'd purchased it or anything. There was no feedback. So there's a lot of, sort of, quality of life things missing from this game to make it a satisfying experience. Um, yeah. It's, uh, I'm disappointed, actually. Welcome to the other side. Battlecaster is a top-down arena roguelike fighting against challenging waves of enemies. Each enemy is lethal and can end your run quickly. Learn fast and think on your feet. Make strategic use of your powerful abilities to control the field and survive. After each round, you'll have your pick from a handful of rewards to gain power, maximize your build and stats to be most effective in combat. Uh, roguelike arena rush. You found yourself in the heart of the storm. Defend yourself in an abyssal arena or die trying. Fast-paced action. Uh, develop an arsenal... Battle, Battlecaster includes roguelike gameplay. Everyone is different and small decisions will have large impacts on your success. Responsive, precise combat. It's... Sure, it's responsive and precise, but none of it feels weighty or satisfying. So being responsive and precise doesn't matter if doing the responsive, precise combat doesn't feel good, um, because the rest of it's just kind of a mess. Um, I mean, you can... Like, what is, what is even happening right here? It is impossible to know what is going on there. Um, and, and like, I'm actually a big fan of, like, shmups and, like, bullet hell and stuff like that, where there's, like, tons of stuff happening on the screen, but you always know what's happening. Um, in this one, like, you know, there were a bunch of dudes, and they're all swinging, and it was fine, but also just didn't matter. You know, because, realistically, at the end of the day, I can't take any hits from them. They hit me and I lose half my health. So my only option for fighting them is to go around behind them and just circle around behind them. And, the, and my main weapon is a, a hammer, which is fine, but that means I have to stand very close to them, which means that battle is just a constant stream of circling around their feet. And that's not super fun or interesting or good to do, yeah? Um, uh, like, it's just not fun. It doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. And winning that way doesn't, isn't satisfying. It just doesn't matter. And trying to win a different way, you can't because your abilities, um, are all on like 12 minute cooldowns. Um, and the game takes, you know, each run takes the course of like three or four minutes. So yeah, trying to use your abilities in combat, you may as well not, as you guys could see. You may as well not use your abilities in combat because they don't regenerate at any sort of rate that makes them usable. Yeah. So, responsive, precise combat. 10 enemies, each acting, filling unique chess piece role in the ring. 50 plus items, endless waves, a true challenge. You might succeed eventually. I mean, like, look. Someone might get a lot of pleasure out of playing this, and I don't you know, I, I, I'm not, this isn't like a terrible game by any means, um, but there's just a lot of stuff missing for me to want to recommend it. Like, I, I didn't have fun playing then. It wasn't fun. Um, and it cost $25, $22.31, uh, which would be a reasonable price if it had all of those quality of life things and it was, and it was fun to play. Um, yeah, let's look at Robert K. I've never heard of him before, but this is his first game, only game. And look, it's not a t 
terrible first game only game but uh, it's just it's just disappointing I'm just disappointed um, I wish it was better but it's not so I'm gonna leave it there that's Battlecaster thanks for watching like and subscribe leave me a comment down below check out the game by clicking on the link in the description um, hopefully we get some updates uh, some quality of life improvements some things to make the game you know fun and worth playing and I will see you guys next time class dismissed